the thrill of travel, wild adventure and big machines on this episode of Mavericks Unlimited. Falling from a cliff when careless driving becomes life-threatening. Is it possible to escape from a car that is hanging in the balance on the edge of a 20 meter high precipice? An extreme experiment because any incorrect movement may be fatal. In addition, extreme monitoring in Songdo smart city. In this Korean city, Camera systems are controlling people and traffic 24 hours a day. Even crime is monitored. And a closer look at sports. Fascinating camera images show how the perfect somersault is done. All of this now on Mavericks Unlimited. The journey starts in Germany, in Heidenheim to be more precise. A day trip with a car a beautiful Sunday afternoon. You should be very focused while driving. But it is okay to fire a quick glance at your smartphone, isn't it? And suddenly, it happens. The car veers off the road. It's dangling on the edge, hanging in the balance, almost falling down. A nightmare scenario. Is it possible to escape from such a situation? The stuntman Matthias Schendel and Bernhard Hefner want to find out just that today. But first of all, they want to take a closer look at the worst case scenario. What happens if a vehicle falls into an abyss? Would the passengers stand a chance to survive? Oh, it's getting lost. Achtung. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, krass! <laughs> the two of them are quite relaxed still. After all, they're not yet sitting inside the car. But that will change in a moment. Ey, da ist ja nichts mehr übrig. If you fall down 20 meters deep, you don't have to worry about seat belts and airbags. Our stuntmen are well aware of that. What can you do if you're stuck in such a situation? We block a stone quarry in order to test just that. In the case of emergency, our car will be secured by a 40-ton crane. Our stuntman will try to get out of the car in sound condition. We will accurately position the vehicle hanging in balance, so that even the slightest breeze would be enough to make it fall. The experiment begins. Of course, we have secured the test car. Nevertheless, in a moment, the two stuntmen will be 20 meters above the abyss, an extremely disturbing situation. Also, I would as allererstes jetzt mal den Motor ausmachen, damit ich nicht aus Versehen irgendwie, keine Ahnung, Gas gebe und durch. Ja, und mach das aber schnell. That way, no additional fuel flows towards the front of the engine. Not such a bad idea, but. Wir rutschen, wir rutschen, wir rutschen. Der rutscht, der rutscht, der rutscht, Bonnie, der rutscht. Wir gehen ab, 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 wir gehen ab. Wir gehen ab. Oh fuck! Oh Wenn du vorne rausguckst und da geht's einfach 20 Meter einfach nur gerade runter. Turning off the engine, not such a good idea, because even this tiny movement is enough to unbalance the vehicle. And on top of that, the engine bucks when you turn it off. In reality, the car would have crashed after just a few seconds. The first try failed. So let's take it from the beginning again. We position Matthias and Bernie in the exact same position and try a new strategy. Escaping through the door. Bernie, jetzt sind wir exakt in der Balance, exakt in der Balance. Wenn ich mich nach vorne lehne. Ja, da kommt er, dann kommt er. Okay, ich gehe auch mal raus. Ich muss aufrichten. Du musst aufpassen, du lassen mich nicht weiter nach vorne richten. Nee. Das Auto für mich gerade schon wieder runter. Gut. It's a tricky situation. Nevertheless, Matthias wants to try to escape. Because that's what most people would do. Try and leave the vehicle as soon as possible. But does it make sense? Oh, the wind, der drückt mir die Tür aus der Hand. 
natürlich. Er kommt, er kommt, er kommt. Oh. But right now, the car is not on the ropes yet. Scheiße, wir rutschen ab, wir rutschen ab, Bernie. Oh ja. Hängen wir noch irgendwo fest? Oh. Scheiße, wir kommen hier nicht raus, Bernie. Wir kommen nicht raus. Hängst du so über den Geh du nach hinten. Wenn, sobald du raus bist, versuche ich hier aus der Tür rauszukommen, okay? Okay. Mach deine. Oh. Dann wir uns ab! Ah, oh, shit. Wir waren zu sehr auf der Kante. Ja. Wenn du hier drin dich zu sehr bewegst, ja. dann war's das. Ich wollte noch nach hinten gehen, aber dann stützt ich nach vorne auf und dann, sobald die Gewichtverlagerung kommt, ja. hast du keine Chance. The second try, a failure. The car would have crashed once again. The outcome, probably fatal. Is there any chance to free yourself from the hanging car? Matthias and Bernie aren't prepared to give up just yet. They believe that an escape through the door must be possible. Back to the beginning. Same position with the car hanging in the balance. The ropes of the crane are hanging loose once more. Matthias wants to give it another go. But what is his strategy? Wenn du mit dem Sitz nach hinten gehst, das merkst du sofort. Dass es sich ein bisschen mehr stabilisiert. Wenn du jetzt nach vorne gehst, dann neigt sich echt das Auto. Selbst das merke ich schon, wenn du mit der Hand vorgehst. Und der ist immer am Wippen, die ganze Zeit am Wippen. Jetzt kommt er, jetzt kommt er, jetzt kommt er, jetzt kommt er, jetzt kommt er. Ja, ja, sehr gut, sehr gut, sehr gut. Okay. Hier komme ich nie wieder raus. Ich bin so weit weg von der Kante. Es geht hier nur noch, unter mir geht es nur noch runter. Because it's secured, our test car can only fall down two meters at most. But even that is dangerous. In spite of that, Matthias and Bernhard want to make the escape. Bist du raus? Oh, fuck, ja. Sorry. Oh, Matthias gropes his way forward. The car seems to remain stable up to now. Der Wind ist fies. Bewegt sich da was? Geht das so, Bernie? Das schaut oh, noch, noch stabil aus. Ja, es, es wackelt trotzdem. Ich, ich sehe es ich seh's an der Karosserie. Ich würde lieber drin bleiben. Nicht, dass der jetzt gleich noch kommt. Ja. But he does the exact opposite. Ich nehme nur Autoteile und keine Sicherung, ja? Oh, fang ich rutsch unten weg. Okay, Bernie, also ich, ich hätte es geschafft. Wie schaut es denn bei dir aus? Kommst ja. du da irgendwo raus? Nee, oder? Ja, auf meiner Seite kann ich nicht raus, weil die Tür klemmt. Also Ach, ich kriege die Scheiße. Tür nicht auf, weil die, weil die nur ein Stück geht und dann steht sie an der Kante an. Wenn du es schwungvoll aufmachst, da ist nur am Stein. Ja. Ah, okay. Incredible. The two of them have actually managed to get out of the door on the second attempt. But their first attempt went wrong. That's why in a situation like this, you should better leave the doors closed. Because if they're open, they shift the weight to the front. The risk of falling is too high. Matthias and Bernhard agree. There must be another way to leave the car without the risk of falling. So everything back to the beginning for an attempt to escape through the trunk. Oder kommst du zum Laptop? Lass mir den nach hinten schmeißen. The idea to shift the weight to the rear in order to bring the vehicle into a stable horizontal position. There is a laptop in the front of the car. Will it weigh down the rear seat? 
Oh, es geht runter, es geht runter, es geht runter, es geht runter. Matthias knows. He must be extremely careful when moving inside the car. Even the tiniest movement could cause the car to fall over the edge. Oh, scheiße. Ich komm nicht dran, ich komm nicht dran. Ja, ja, das ist gut, Bernie. Das, das ist gut, Bernie. Super. Ja, 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 ja. Jetzt liegt der stabile. Wir gehen zumindest nicht weiter nach unten. Okay, ich spreiz mich auch ganz nach hinten rein. Ich leg den mal ganz hinten. Wir gehen runter. Warte, 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 warte. Oh, der ist echt wie auf einer Wippe gerade. Ich kann es an der Motorhaube sehen, dass die sich ja. im Hintergrund immer rauf und runter bewegt. Soll ich komplett nach hinten? Komm ich mal versuchen. Geh mal, ja, geh mal, geh mal. Dann mache ich mich jetzt mal los. Bernhard has remained sitting in the back seat. Now Matthias has to follow him. A risky undertaking. He checks the safety ropes. Boah, das ist ein fieses Gefühl, ey. Kannst du mit dem Sitz vielleicht einfach noch nach hinten rutschen? Das Blöde ist, ich muss mich dann im Fußraum unten abstützen. Ja, aber ich ziehe mich nach hinten. Oh, fuck. Ja, genau. Ey, das wackelt hier alles so. Matthias has to crawl back without pushing too hard with his hands and feet. Otherwise, he would push the car right down into the abyss. Done. But they're facing the next problem. Durch den Kofferraum raus? Das wäre jetzt vielleicht noch. Dann musst du aber einen Endschalter von drauf machen. Ach du Scheiße. Weißt du was? Ich bleib jetzt mal vorne. Ich bleib drin im Auto. Ich mach dir den Kofferraum auf. Du machst auf. Wobei, dann bin ich ja vorne viel zu schwer. Da rauscht die Karriere vielleicht ab. There is no other way. Matthias has to climb back to the front because that's where the handle for the trunk lid is. The tension increases, but it might work with Bernhard as a counterbalance. So he has to wait until Matthias has arrived in the back seat before he starts to get out. Okay. Gut, okay, Bernie, ich mach dir jetzt mal den Kofferraum auf, ja? Ja. Oh shit, 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 shit. Opening the trunk might also cause a crash. Because it shifts the balance of the car. Will the two be able to avoid the crash and make it out of the car using this escape route? Aber der Kofferraumtür ist auf. Du könntest jetzt quasi mit rauskommen. Ja, müsste ich fast, weil sobald du draußen bist, habe ich hier vorne ja viel zu viel Gewicht und dann würde die Karre abrauschen. Bernie manages to stabilize the rear of the car with his own body weight, away from the edge. But still, Matthias has to be very careful. Which is the best strategy to get out of the car without causing it to slide down at the last moment? Slowly, Matthias crawls forward. He has almost made it. So, I try to go down. Sure enough, Matthias and Bernie have made it. It was the right thing to leave on the engine and keep the doors closed. It's also very important to shift as much weight as possible towards the rear. It's possible to exit using the trunk, but you have to be very careful. Instead, better drive carefully at all times. Our journey continues on to South Korea. The mega city of Songdo, where everyone lives in smart homes. Their entire life is regulated by one chip card. Everything in Songdo is controlled by a huge control center. The traffic is constantly monitored. Songdo is a city with an electronic super brain. We want to find out precisely how things work here. Songdo is close to Seoul, a city developed on the drawing board. Just 10 years ago, there was nothing to be seen here. 500 million tons of sand and 40 billion dollars later, we find the city of the future. What is it like to live in the intelligent, smart city? 
누구세요? 네, 안녕하세요. 독일에서 온 차라피입니다. 네, 알겠습니다. The first thing we notice, the electronically locked doors. The entire apartment is controlled via touch pads. Su Jon Chung lives in a so-called smart home. An intelligent apartment like this is standard in Songdo. Every single apartment here is equipped with the latest technology. 저희가 전기 얼마를 썼는지 가스 이런 거를 전반적으로 확인해 볼수 있습니다. 그래프 보기도 가능하고요. 현재 저희가 1월 달, 2월 달이 정도. 그다음 월별 얼마를 썼는지 이런 게 되고요. 택배 3일, 2일 날 도착한 택배요. 저희가 한번 확인해 볼게요. Everything in Songdo is optimized and automated, even the removal of waste. Su Jon Chung needs a chip to open the garbage collector. That way, the administration knows who chucks what away. 저희는 우리 쓰레기를 뭐 따로 이제 보통 이제 날짜를 정해서 음식 쓰레기를 버리고 이랬는데 앞에 살던 데서는 그런 거는 뭐 데이터 뭐 이런 거는 모르겠고 언제든지 쉽게 버릴 수 있으니까 그거는 편해요. From now on, the garbage is being transported underground. You won't find any garbage trucks in Songdo. That's all part of the concept. A pipe system transports the garbage to the collecting point. Of course, under camera surveillance. Ah, 우리가 지금 계획 계획 계획한 쓰레기 양은 음식 일반 합쳐서 27톤 정도 되고요. 그 다음에 그 쓰레기 이송 속도는 초당 20에서 30m로 이송을 하고요. 그 다음에 우리 주 갈로가 깔려 있는 곳은 약한. These huge turbines supply the power. At the moment they're turned off, the noise would be unbearable. 청소기 청, 청소기를 청소기 원리하고 같은 건데 아, 청소기는 뒤, 뒤쪽으로 쓰레기가 그 엔진 부분으로 쓰레기가 뭐, 저기 몰리듯이 저희 집화장도 아, 입구에서 주민이 쓰레기를 버리면 여기까지 이 송풍기를 거쳐서 이 뒷단에 No noisy garbage trucks in the morning. The garbage is disposed of in a covert and quiet way. The concept of Songdo, getting around the city on foot in no time. City planner Scott Summers explains. We've learned that over 15 minutes of walking, people will tend to jump in their cars or hop in a bus. So that's the, the, the reason we put the park in the middle uh, in, and the buildings on the outside, is to try to keep that walkable distance to about 15 minutes. Songdo has been designed for growth, a luxury which many old cities don't have. Especially such a park area in the middle of the city is rarely found in Asia. This is where we meet Ki Min Yong's family. They moved here from Seoul because of the higher quality of life. 네, 송도에 와서 일단 아이들을 키우는 입장에서는 안전하고 그런 부분은 훨씬 더 삶이 이 나온 차량을 다알수 있어요. 그래서 어떤 일이 있어도 어, 대응을 할수 있다는 생각이 들고요. Extreme safety. In Songdo, cameras record everything within the city's boundaries. The whole system is interconnected. Every camera in the city is linked to a unique control center, Songdo's computer brain. Everything that happens in Songdo is made visible here on this 20-meter-long monitor screen every day. Kim Jong Won is in charge of the incoming data masses, which are analyzed here. 어, 이곳은 어, 이 부분은 교, 유교통 시스템을 보여주는 곳으로 어, 아이패즈의 환경에 관련된 이산화탄소, 오존 어, 이 가운데 있는 것은 UCT에 설치돼 있는 다양한 시설물들의 상태 정보들을 실시간으로 어, 도시민의 안전들을 실시간으로 24시간 모니터링하는 방범 서비스를 보시고 500 cameras and monitoring stations collect data about traffic jams, criminal offenses and weather reports. The system punishes parking violators automatically. 시스템으로 이 번호를 자동으로 인식해서 어, 저희 시스템에 저장하게 됩니다. 그렇게 되면 어, 이 불법 주정차를 담당하는 그 단속 기관에 이 정보들을 보내서 어, 이 부분에 대한 과금이라. The city of the future knows everything. In Songdo, information about every street and every house is available on demand. The aim is to manage the city more efficiently. 
사실 예전 같은 경우는 어떤 시설물이 문제가 생겼거나 사건이 있을 때는 현장에 직접 나가보거나 그런 속도 부분, 효율성, 도시 관리의 효율성을 증가시킨다는 부분에 있어서 큰 장점이 있다고 말씀드릴 수 있습니다. A city with a super brain that knows everything about its inhabitants. Songdo has a citywide telepresence network. Normally only used by big companies, yet every household can use it on demand. We're back with Su Jon Chung. She gives daily beauty classes. 안녕하세요. 네. 여기 이거 재료 중에 해면 보이시죠? Working in front of the TV for the trained beautician, a good opportunity to make some money with little effort. 저희가 여러 사람을 한꺼번에 같이 만날 수 있는 뭐 시간 같은 것도 전략이 될수 있고요. 그리고 뭐 피부, 피부 뭐 스킨케어 이런 뭐 관리 받으면 금액이 좀 고가인 경우가 많잖아요. 그런 거를 이제 저렴하게 저희가 집에서. Staying at home. Is this what the future looks like? Even the information in Songdo is version 3.0. The lady at the other end of the video conference recommends restaurants. or checks train and bus timetables. A company that runs this is called U Life. They want you to confer as much as possible by video in the future. The kids in Songdo grow up using modern technology. At the international school, the children are chatting via video conference with other schools from around the world. Today with a class from Australia, they have to guess where exactly the others come from. Um, are you guys in somewhere in Fremantle? Fremantle. In class, each child has their own iPad. Technology companies like Cisco are working on even more surveillance of the city. For example, for its youngest inhabitants. Charlie Nam shows us a tracking system for children that raises an alarm as soon as a child leaves a pre-assigned territory. And we can track the kids in the lifetime. And in, a li uh, in the meanwhile, we can also track the kids with the surveillance camera. So once we pass the position that we can pop up the surveillance camera. Good for worried mums, but what do the kids think about it? The advantage of an interconnected city. A missing person report can be sent out to screens in shopping malls, information boards, as well as to tube or bus stations within minutes. And the inhabitants of Songdo seem to feel comfortable and safe in their completely monitored city. Songdo Smart City in Korea. An urban planning concept with the potential to conquer the global market? From Songdo, we travel back to Germany. Because we want to find out, how is the perfect somersault done? First of all, our experts need one thing, a trampoline. Okay. Oh, boah, nee, das überlasse ich dir. Das ist zu hart. Krass, die sind ganz schön stark, die Federn. Ja, aber das sind dann nachher auch unsere Energiespeicher. Our two experts want to find out what kind of energies are at work when you jump onto a trampoline. Du hast ja Bewegungsenergie, wenn du jetzt da drauf springst. Und die gibt es natürlich vollkommen an das Sprungtuch ab. Igor brings energy onto the trampoline when he jumps. That transfers to the springs via the elastic sheet. When the springs contract, this energy catapults Igor upwards and he is able to jump much higher than on the ground. Ja, yeah, geil? Ja. Yeah. The longer the flight phase, the more time Igor has to turn on his own axis. The smaller he makes himself, in other words, the smaller the center of rotation is, the faster his somersault will be. Das sah ja super einfach aus, auf so einem Trampolin, um ja, so ein Seite doch, zu schaffen. Das macht doch Spaß. <lacht> <lacht> Glaube ich, aber ja, das Ganze sieht natürlich anders aus, wenn du das auf dem Boden machen musst. Und... Yes, ah. sehr gut. Cool. <lacht> the slow motion shows what happens. By running fast, Igor manages to accumulate a lot of energy. Then he jumps up. Most beginners jump too much forward rather than upwards. Igor quickly curls up and makes himself small and therefore rotates around his own axis. 
As soon as he spots the sky, he stretches out his legs for the landing. What's helping Igor a lot? He is just 1.75 meters tall, so he doesn't have to jump that high. That's the real trick. It's easier for short people, provided they have the appropriate muscular strength to do a somersault than for tall ones. One last time in super slow motion, the perfect somersault, captured in fascinating images. Mavericks Unlimited.